Thank you so much, Dr. Postel. And again, that surge is definitely an imminent threat. Definitely catastrophic things can happen with this surge. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hurricane Harvey, again, winds are at 80 miles per hour. Right now it's Category 1, but it is forecasted to become a Category 3 as it gets closer to making landfall. Moving at north-northwest at 10 miles per hour. And again, that's the problem that we're going to be watching. It's going to be slow moving, so the threat will continue to rotate around itself, impacting the same areas day after day. So we're looking at the alerts right now. We have a storm surge warning across the middle coast of Texas. We're looking from Galveston down towards Port Mansfield, seeing that threat. And in the purple colors, we have a storm surge watch on the outer edges of the coastline. So it's definitely something that we're going to be continuing to watch that will likely change as Harvey approaches. So taking a look at the enhanced satellite imagery, we're looking at Harvey just kind of rotating around. No clear eye at this time, but soon it should be a forming in the next several hours. Taking a look at the current wave heights, we're seeing these kind of shades of purple. That's a lot higher than 8.2. 8.2 feet, that's in the outer edge in this dark blue coloring. And even right now, right along the immediate coastline, it's only at about 5 feet. But watch what it does in time. Over time, starting 2 p.m. Central Time, we're going to start seeing these shades of purples and pinks approach the area. That's around 20 to 25, even 30 feet waves. So that's definitely problematic. It's also going to correspond closer as we get into Friday evening at around 8 p.m. That's when a high tide will be arriving. And Tropical Storm Harvey is intensifying, and now is the time to prepare for this life-threatening storm. A Tropical Storm Warning and Storm Surge Watch are in effect for Galveston. We're timing it out next.